Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. And in this video, I want to follow up in another video that I made about two years ago titled Don't Waste Your Money on Snub Nose Plus P Ammo. And in that video, as the title says, um, I explained why you don't want to shoot Plus P in your um, two inch revolver snub nose, specifically 38 Special. This is my everyday carry gun. And the main point that I said in that video was Charter Arms, which this is what this gun is, it's an on-duty five-shot revolver, empty. Uh, it's got the shrouded hammer here and everything, but it's a great carry gun. But anyway, Charter Arms in the manual states that these guns can shoot plus P. They're rated for it. But it also said that you're wasting your money um, because you're never going to reach the velocity that the plus P advertises and so today I actually got out and tested two different 38 special loads um, one plus P and one non plus P and I tried to get the, the loads as close as possible so I got two of them here this one's Winchester 38 special 130 grain full metal jacket non plus P and this is Federal Classic 38 special high velocity plus P 125 grain jacketed hollow point. So I ran those through the chronograph head to head. So check it out. So could you tell which one was which, which load was better or faster? Yeah, me either. Okay, let's start with the plus P ammo here. This Federal 125 grain high shock plus P ammo is advertised velocity 945 feet per second. Did we reach that? No. What we did reach though was an average of 818 feet per second. So, moving on to the non plus P. Non plus P averaged 802 feet per second out of five shots. Advertised muzzle velocity, 775 feet per second. That's a 3% increase in using this target grade 130 grain ammo. Using this plus P ammo, from the advertised velocity to what we actually got was a negative 13 percent. So what you're actually getting when shooting this ammo is 16 percent overall because you're 3 percent above what you're supposed to be getting and this ammo was negative 13 percent. So you're gaining 16 percent muzzle velocity by shooting this. It's not about the bullet to me in a self-defense scenario and that's what a big comment was coming up it's about the shooter. If you can't hit what you're aiming at, it doesn't matter anyway, no matter what bullet it is. So I just wanted to make this video just to show you guys, you know, um, if plus P is the same as regular velocity and you feel the need to buy it, go for it. It's your money. But if the bullet is rated at that velocity that's stated on the box and your gun is shooting less than that, um, it may not work for you. Go for you know, around it's going to work. You, you don't have to experiment and find that. But just from numbers, the target grade non plus P ammo outdid the plus P ammo here. And just to tell you, uh, just to go over the five shot average again, three out of the five shots of the target grade ammo was still higher than the three out of five highest shots in the plus P ammo, if that doesn't tell you something. So anyways guys, you know, if this federal bullet here, jacketed hollow point, only expands at between 850 and 945 feet per second. Two inch revolver isn't going to cut it. So, 
like I said, if you can find the plus P ammo and it works for you, go for it. But like I said, Charter Arms states in their manual not to buy it if it's a waste of money, especially if you're buying these you know, gimmick rounds out uh, that who knows if they work or not, especially spending $30, $40, even $50 on 20 rounds. Yeah, no thanks. Um, if I find a round that works, I'm going to stick to it. And my life is dependent on me. It's not dependent on this right here. It's my job to keep this gun clean, to learn how to shoot this gun. This is what I carry every day. You know, if I bought it and let it sit and thought I was going to save my life with it, yeah. I shoot this a lot. Um, I carried it for 10 years. So, like I said, my life is dependent on me, not the gun. You know, in a self-defense scenario, you got to do what you got to do. If I didn't have this, I'd find something to use. You know, technically these right here are considered deadly weapons if they're, you know, if they're used right. <laughs> but anyways, just to get back to the video, guys, I appreciate you watching. I just wanted to show that test just to show to you that plus PMO is, won't reach the velocity in a snub nose. And if you find a round that does, hey, you found it. But typically not. And uh, I know these are the only two rounds that I tried. But from what I'm seeing here, a 13% decrease from advertised muzzle velocity, and I'm getting a 3% increase using target grade ammo, non plus P. I'll stick with the target grade uh, ammo, and I'll try to find a non plus P hollow point because I'm going to get that velocity that box states. And if the box states that velocity, typically the bullet's going to work at that velocity. So, anyways. I appreciate you guys watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one, everybody. Thanks again.